Why don't you tell us a little bit about what motivated ESRI to adopt Scrum as part of the Agile process? Sure. Um, but I've been uh, at ESRI for I think about 12 years now and you know over time as projects grew more complex and you know, the scope grew, um, I found it more and more difficult to, to bring the projects in on time and, and in the right quality and I, I felt we were not organized anymore with the classic waterfall model to right. tackle these difficult problems we were having. I think 2007 was the first time we used Scrum, we stumbled upon Agile software development and right. looked into that and particularly the Scrum process and we used it on the first project in 2007, the, the optimized map server as it's called in the product. Okay, so if you are to describe Scrum to someone, um, how would you describe it to them and, and what sort of benefits do they get from using Scrum? Okay, sure. Um, Scrum is a process, it's basically implementation of the Agile of an Agile methodology. Um, it's right now the most popular one, other ones commonly known as extreme programming. Um, and it, it's all based on a self-organizing team and it's based on iterations. So we, you know, we want to check in every three weeks what we do. We have review meetings right. and planning meetings every three weeks. Um, I kind of compare it to like you know, walking through a rainforest. You know, you start at the beginning of the project, you know you want to go from point A to point B and you start running through that forest and, you know, every three weeks you're going to climb up the tree and make sure you're still running in the right direction where sure. you're supposed to go. And that allows you to be, to be agile, to react to new scope that comes in, to, you know, changes that have been made to the project, external things that change. Um, that's the very important part is these kind of iterative development. Um, the other part in that iterative development that's important is that you build the software up over time, feature by feature. So it's not like you start developing all the features at the same time. You basically every three weeks want to have something that's in a releasable state, theoretically. Right. Um, the other big part of the Scrum process is the daily Scrum meeting that I think a lot of people have heard about. And uh, at first, the teams are really skeptical what I have to meet every day for 15 minutes, sure. standing up. And, uh, but it turned out over time that was really great. Everybody really likes the daily Scrum meetings, and uh, it's been a huge success in, in that respect. Um, benefits from the, from the Scrum was really, yeah, be able to be agile, be able to react to the changes that, that come up during the project. Um, come in on time, give great feedback to the stakeholders, you know, I get very good estimates when we're going to be done um, with that uh, fast map server project, it was, it was on time, the quality was good, um, all, all that were great benefits from the Scrum process. Right. So at the um, Dev Summit we're going to give all the attendees a little sneak peek uh, behind the scenes of what happens at ESRI. And uh, so we can't tell them everything today, but uh, right. can you give them uh, one little hint, uh, something of interest that we'll share with them at the Dev Summit? Um, yeah, I guess we're going to see a little video of a live Scrum at, uh, at ESRI. Um, mm -hmm. It's going to be live and authentic, not staged. Sure. Um, to share with people how we, how we really work. And uh, I think that should be interesting. Um, other than that, I'm excited to share with, with you guys, you know, how we work, I think it made a had a big impact on ESRI. It had a you know how we work, how other teams saw it was successful. They adopted it, and um, I think uh, everybody can can benefit from it. Especially the more complex the problem, the project is you're trying to do, the more it changes over time, the more it fluctuates, yeah. the more beneficial the Scrum process will be. So if that fits fits your project, um, I hope to. I'll see you at uh, the summit and uh, in the session. Okay, that sounds really good. Well, let's uh, wrap up here and we'll try to find one of these Scrum meetings and uh, capture some video. And then uh, if we're lucky, we'll be able to play it back at the uh, Dev Summit. All right. Okay, thanks for your time. Thanks, Al. Okay.